and am I saying your name right? Hi, Kamini. Is, is that how you say your name? Yes, hi. How hi, are Kamini. you guys? Hi. Um, What's your question? I, I've accrued uh, credit card uh, debt over the years, and I make my monthly payments every month, and I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Do you have anything I can do about that? So, she probably isn't, right? Yes. They structure it so you can't. Um, so I always say there's two things in life that it's hard to lose. It's extra weight and credit card debt, because they just worked against us, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, but so one thing I'll just tell you. So the average family has about $9,000 in credit card debt. So I always wow. tell people, you're not alone. Um, the worst thing that you can do is really is be ashamed about it, because you got to rip the bandaid off and say, all right, we got to pay this down. So a few tips. So right now, the average savings account in the country is 1%. The average credit card is negative 19%. So I know, very wow. expensive. Worse, it doesn't compound yearly. It compounds daily, daily. Oh my God. So at the beginning of the month, make and line up your credit cards, pay the most expensive. And then in the middle of the month, so you have to pay the minimums always on all of them. In the middle of the month, make an extra payment. Because it's compounding daily, you'll save $20, $30, $40, depending on what the balance is on interest. That's and great advice right there. You'll see it go down faster. So good stuff right there. Pay in the middle of the month. I love that. <laughs> so you should probably take a look at which one has the highest interest rate yep. as well, right? It's the most important thing. What's the highest interest rate? Tackle that first. Wendy, where are you? Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Hi. That's pretty color on you. Oh, yeah, thank Wendy. you. Do you have any tips on budgeting that don't make me feel like I'm depriving myself? Yeah, so I, everyone always says, ooh, the B word. I love budgets. They're my favorite. And in fact, um, one of my favorite tips, it's called the 50-20-30 rule. It's actually the backbone of my book, Financially Fearless. And it's a financial planning principle. And here's how it goes. Whatever your household income is, whatever money after taxes hits your bank account, 50% or less should go to essentials roof over your head, your grocery bill, your utility bill, and your transportation to and from work. That's what's essential to live. If you really cut it down, that's what you need. 20% or more should go to the future. Saving for retirement, saving for emergency, saving for children, et cetera, paying down any debt. And 30% or less is the fun stuff. That's eating out, that's the traveling, that's the gift. So if you look at it, that's simple principle, 50, 20, 30. If you apply it to your own finances, you'll quickly see if there's a place that you are in the red on, if your rent's 50% of what you make or whatever. And it's a really simple, quick test, and it's a great principle so that you know just roughly, based on your own income, what you should be spending. So I love the 50, 20, 30 rule. I think just with a couple you helped out, if you, if you don't have that math in your, in your abilities, yep. you can build to that math. Correct. Like she's already found, they, they found over $1,000 yep. already. So within a year, they're going to get a lot closer to those numbers. That's exactly. And starting from 100% yep. to 0%. And that's exactly right, which is you can see and you can make progress. We only sadly have time for one more, but you'll always come back. I'll right? always come because back. <laughs> Kathleen, where are you? Hi, Kathleen. Hello, hello, ladies. Hi, I'm hello. a graduate student, and I'm trying to pay off my student loans. I have loans for my undergraduate degree as well as my graduate degree. So wow. how do you recommend paying for student loans when the interest rates are so high? So great question. And she's still educating herself, right? Yeah, You're still in the so program. First, I always remind people that not all debt's created equal. There's good debt and bad debt. Good debt is things like student debt and mortgages. Bad debt is a credit card debt and car loan. So just in general, remember that the bad debt's what you have to be very careful about. On the good debt side, for that student debt, consolidating is such a big decision. It's one you can only do once and you want to get right. So you can head to Learn Best, talk to an expert or talk to any expert that you can find. And, and they can help you come up with a game plan to pay it down faster. And just know you're not alone. The country has a trillion dollars of student debt on its shoulders right now. So first, way to go get that education. So yeah, good luck. That's a, that's a good step to earning money, period, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One step in the right direction. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Alexa. We love it when you're here.